I previously hinted to you guys that I was going to be getting rid of Rondé Barber, and that time has come right now. The equal trade that we're about to do right now is going to... It's, it's just going to be better overall for the squad, okay? This is what's going to happen. I have Rondé Barber right now. You know, he's a 99 overall. We'll go over his stats real quickly and all that good stuff. You know, 99 speed. But he doesn't play for me at all in any game ever, all right? That's the, that's the funny part. We actually put, like, Ronnie Lott in, and Ronnie Lott plays for me because he this guy doesn't do anything at 5'10", and he just runs around like an idiot. So, yeah, he has the legend. You know, he's a legend, obviously, and stuff like that. But we're going to be going after Night Train Lane right now. And I do believe that with Night Train, we're going to be much better off. I'm going to explain exactly what the process is going to be and more right after this. All right, so here we go right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you guys understand really quickly what's going on. When you look at Rondé Barber, he fits every threshold that I want. Remember that I told you that all my cornerbacks and everybody has to have good spin move, all that stuff like that? He has all that, 89 spin move, juke move, and everything like that. But the issue that I have with him, um, we're going to start looking at his impact block and everything like, uh, what does he have? What does he have? Impact block and the block shedding. Impact blocking is 55. His block shedding is 74. So that's pretty decent. But the impact block is something that's really, really key for cornerbacks. And also, his height is really, really bad for Madden 19. So what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be going over some things that's going to, um, you know, to make sure that how are we going to upgrade this team to the point where everything is suitable for the way that we've been running our defenses. And, and Night Train Lane just makes the most sense because he has an 86 spin move, but he's upgraded in the block shedding and everything else, and he's 6-1. Now, some of you guys were asking about Mel Blunt. I don't want Mel Blunt. He's not elusive. He's a very, very stiff corner. EA did a good job with that. Like, he was a really good corner, but he you could you could see that, like, Night Train is wild. If you look up Night Train on YouTube and you see some of the videos, that guy was pulling face masks. He was doing some wild, 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 wild things. But, again, in this game, he's also, you know, something that I'm going to be looking towards uh, upgrading and making. I'm going to actually play him. So that means that in my when, my, when I run my nickel, Ronnie Lott won't come in anymore. It's going to be Night Train. All right, so this is what we're going to do right now. We're going to actually go right now. We're going to downgrade Rondé Barber because I've already made my mind up. This guy sucks, right? We're going to use, like, we're going to get some of the stuff back, obviously, that we have from him. Um, you, 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 the one thing that you guys got to watch, though, is that EA is going to charge you maximum amounts of cash to, you know, to downgrade players, which is kind of weird. I don't see why they would charge you coins. Just give us back half our training. Like, it just seems like EA goes out of their way to just be ridiculous. And then they're like, oh, yeah, we'll fix that. Like, bro, you don't have to fix it if you don't do it in the first place. Stop doing foolishness. Like, what is what is that even about? Like, it's like so much coins to just take off, you know, take a card out of the thing. Now, I understand they don't want people to abuse it, but we're already giving you guys back half the training. So what is this about? But that's neither here nor there. Let's go ahead uh, really quickly. We're going to go into our item binder. We're going to check some things out really quick. All right, so, um, hmm, where is... Uh, Rondé Barber. So we're going to go team, and he's obviously Buccaneers, and we're going to go cornerback. So that way we know we have everything that's there. So cornerback. All right, so we have so we pulled so many of these. That's pretty cool. All right, so this guy right here, we're going to see what's... Okay, there's none of them in the store. The last one sold for about $3.90. So we're going to go and put him up there. We're going to auction him off for $3.99. Now, the reason that people like this card and why it's selling at such a high price right now as opposed to a lot of the other cards, is because he has that spin move, um, his zone, all that stuff. It's like really, really good. So people are going to spend the coins for it because he's a corner that if he picks it, you if your corner has spin move, you're going back to the house. Like it's, it's not a question of like he's going back to the house. Like it is what it is. That's where he's going. I'll see you there. Like, bruh, to the house. So Rondé is one of those players. The problem is he's so small that you'll just moss him every single snap. Now, the one thing I know about Night Train, he's very, very, like, the way that they always make him, he's always like a glitch. Like, even when he was a ultimate, what was he, the ultimate master last year, and he was dirt cheap. He was like 100K at some point because he was pretty much a free card. You could not run to his side. They let him play like a savage, all right? So look, that's the point right now where we have to leave it. We know, I know for a fact that that card's going to sell because that's the going rate of what the last card was. So people are going to be looking to get it. Plus, you know, the Ultimate Legends are coming out. People want that boosted card. We 
are looking for Night Train. So now let's go. What 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 are they gonna have him for? I think he. What what do they have? They have him like originally as a um a lion, right? I think he might be a lion a lion card. Let's um. Let's go to type. Let's go to cornerback. I think he's a lion card. Where is he? Why don't we have his power up? He's our lion. What is he? What is Night Train Lane? Uh, that's interesting. I could have swore he was a lion. Wasn't he? A li uh, did I sell his power up? Cause I know I did the solo. Does hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. W what's going on? All right, yo, EA Sports. Y'all trying to play around with me, dog? Like, wh where is he? We have two Mel Blunts. Where's Night Train? I'm pretty sure I didn't sell him. Or maybe I did. Or maybe oh, he didn't have. Hold up. Wait a minute. We didn't. No, I probably sold him. I think I sold him. I sold his power up, dog. Like, real talk, the dude's power-up is just straight gone, though. I think I sold that idiot. Yeah. I, I He was going for a decent price, and I think I sold him. All right, so that kind of that kind of gets wild right there. All right, so we got to go ahead and get him, because I know he played for the Lions. I, I, I just, whatever, bro. We got to go buy him right now. So let's go into the store. We're going to go look for him real quick. What, what was I doing? Because I have all of the Ultimate Legends. I played all the solos, so I don't know exactly why... It would be like that. That that's kind of weird. That's absolutely kind of weird. So night train, all right, thirty. Oh, because he was one of the eighty. Yeah, but they they gave him out. I I must. Yo, bro, I must have sold him somehow and just don't remember. I had to have sold him. It's no way possible that I, I can't remember that. What what's he? Hold on. Okay, so let's stop powering him up. We're gonna stop powering him up. I don't know why they got him with that stupid pose though. All right, let me do this. Let me go to the scheme. I just want to make sure that I that I was right. Like he played for the Lions, right? Yeah. They usually have him as a lion, though. I don't really have any other rams. We're gonna we're gonna keep him as a lion, um, but that's kind of weird. Let me look and see what else we're gonna have to have. Okay, that bam, nine thousand at this. Why did they, bro? EA Sports is just outrageous, man. Like, what is? They want nine thousand training points for this part. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, bro. We 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 already vested into it. Let EA do whatever they want. Let EA have their way with me. Now I'm gonna have to go and actually see about getting other cards i think we could get rid of that um i have a brian dawkins that it doesn't really matter like that dude's garbage like it's no real reason for that we're gonna get rid of that brian dawkins keep in mind like i said remember we have the other guy still on the market to be sold so as you upgrade that's one of the huge things that either way even before like now because i've abandoned buying packs and now i'm doing no money spent i've always operated with my upgrades in a no money spent fashion which means that as I upgrade, I'm very, very careful with the way that I sell my stuff that I'm, you know, the, the cards that I'm no longer going to use and how I purchase the other cards. So I'm going to give you some examples of that in a second because we're not just going to go outright and buy Night Train. We're going to go and we're going to look to see if we could, you know, put together his set a little bit cheaper by just doing it, you know, right there where it is inside the, um, in the Ultimate Legend set. So we have him there so far. So that way now we know exactly what card it is. We could come back and upgrade him right from the lineup screen, which kind of helps me out to see how my overall, you know, rises as we go. So let's see, let me see something. Cause I think, where's this other idiot that I got? I had a Dawkins, right? That was garbage. Where's Brian Dawkins? There he is. All right. Now this guy's garbage. I think he's, what was he going for? Um, okay. He's all the way up to 63. Hmm. Uh, uh, how many training points is that? Because now, we, you know, we need a decent amount of training. That That's an exorbitant... Why is that 9,000 there, though? Like, why would... 3,200? All right, you know what? He's only 32. We could get a lot more. Um, He's he's going for 60K. Uh, All right, we, we're going to do it like this because we have to get the most training possible, and the market is definitely crashed, so it's not a big deal. I think we could get away with doing a lot of different things. So what we're going to do is... This is the way that I would go about doing it. I'm going to get the training first, and then we're going to look for the card afterwards. You could do it in any order that you want, but I like to see exactly what's happening with the market. So let's go. We know that a 94 is 9,000 training, but we're going to need more than that. So let's go. I, I think Jeremy Shockey, like the ghost of Madden Pass, okay, he went back up to 240. They were a lot cheaper just the other day. They've raised up a little bit, like like slightly. But let's see if there's any lower one. Okay, everybody's in the 231s now. So ultimately what happens is this, right? We could gamble and see exactly what the prices are of a lot of the other uh, players that are available right now. But it, I, I think that that might be the cheapest. I should have, I didn't need the training prior uh, when I was, you know, obviously right now with the way that everything is going, 
we have to get some we have to get some training right now but i didn't need the training before why am i even looking at team builders when that that quick self for scouting don't even worry about why i just did that um the snow beasts were looking like they were looking like the cards that you know we would probably be able to like you know sneak peek with it but uh ultimate legend what did it got what did ultimate legends doing all right 249 so why was didn't didn't we just see him as ultimate as, as a um as a snow beast also or did, or did it just switch no not a snow beast as a um where where is it a ghost i thought i just saw him as a ghost too oh that's tim brown all right so 231 for 96 that looks like th that's i would love to get it in the 190s um let me see something let me let me see let me see because this is what this is where it starts getting crazy and when i have to go back and forth and like try to really snipe or whatever like that. We know the Super Bowl 201, 96, 201. I'll take this one. 96 for 201. That That's pretty good. Like I said, Jeremy Shocker the other day was like 189, 190. So people were starting to get wild. 18,000 training points. That That's a really, really good price, you know, for, for a 96 in my opinion. Obviously, depending on how you, you know, you're going through the market, you may be able to find stuff and you could probably, you know, get away with a lot of different things. But for me, that's pretty good. Um, if you can get them, you know, 199, whatever, 175, people are getting desperate because the market is so destroyed. Uh, ultimately, also, what's going to help boost the market, I believe, is that EA is going to um, give us more use for the tokens, like making tokens and stuff. I do think that that's coming soon. So that's going to be a good thing once it does happen. All right, so look, that's pretty good. Now we only need the item, right? So look, you search it. It should be like 417, something like that. Okay, it's 409. And it's two of them up for 409. So look, before you spend the 400K, you want to make sure that that's the cheapest amount that you can actually, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't just go in there and just buy it because, yeah, he's going to be a 99 gold and it's cool and it's like, yo, he's still cheap. Still see if you can save coins by doing the set. So let's go over to Ultimate Legends. We're going to go over to Players. We're going to go to Night Train. And these two, the first two are usually the most expensive. So let's check those two out first. All right, 206. So we, what was the price? It was 4, 409. Let's see what's cheaper. Mm -mm, okay, and 183. So that's already at three something. So the 409 is cheaper regardless of what these are. We just go buy it for 409 and we're done. Usually what happens is when you get into that situation where it's like 140, 140 each, obviously the 280, and then the last three are very cheap, you go that route, and it's a no-brainer. But never just buy the card outright. Always look at the set first. You know, only time you have to really do it where you're going to buy it if it's cheap is if it's a limited. Um, obviously, with the limited cards, you got to be definitely clutch, though. Like, you ain't going to really get away with getting, you know, sniping limiteds like that. But it is something that you could look into if you wanted to, right? So now, 409, we're going to take this guy, all right? 409, bam. Keep in mind that we still, Rondé Barber is getting sold. He just hasn't sold yet. Not a big deal. He will be rage sold effective immediately. Let's back out. Let's go ahead. We're going to put him into the, um, put him right into the, um, the set. He's going to become a gold 99. All right. Bam. Then we're going to do this. Get that done. Come over here. Okay. Detroit Lions. We already have that set. The scheme is obviously going to be, uh, legends pass defense. All right. So that, that's already done. We already have 35 of those guys. Physical. We're going to give him. you know, we got to give him sprinter. Okay, bam. Ability. See, this is where it gets wild. Pick six, no. Return man, no. Tip drill. See, uh, I guess what we would have to give him is tip drill and unfakeable because he's the corner. But more than likely, he's going to get faked out even more. I, pick six is a joke, though. It looks like we're going to have to give him uh, unfakeable and tip drill. That, that's what it looks like we're going to have to do. We're going to have to give him trip. Because even though you guys, like, I don't think it really works. Hold on, wait. Oh, he doesn't get out of my way. He doesn't get out of my way because he doesn't have the block shed. But he plays like he has that block shed. Similar to the way that um, Deion Sanders plays. Like, Deion Sanders plays like he has 97,000 hit power. But in realist realistically, he doesn't have any hit power at all. But that's just what happens. All right, so look. Here goes another 99, but he's gold now. So we're starting to get a lot of gold 99s. You know, just, just hanging around and chilling. The weird thing about it is... If you wanted to make this guy, what is he? He, he becomes a, a gold 99 at either side, but you don't get the chems though. You know what I'm saying? You just don't get the chems. And it's weird that they do it like that. I think that that's how they do it with Bill Romanowski. Um, either side, he gets the gold uh, thing, but you can't, you, you lose all his chems. Because, well, you don't lose them, but 
it gets crossed out. You could put them there if you want. I'm just going to give you an example real quick. So Kevin Green is there. Um, where is uh, Where do we put Bill Romanowski? He's already in the lineup. Yeah, he's already a starter. See, you see how he goes to gold 99? But the out of my way would, would, would still work with him and also secure a tackler is just that he wouldn't... No, I think he would get everything, though. He actually would get everything because we already have the Legends camp over the amount that we need with the 30. We have Sprinter activated over 30, and somebody else already has out of my way, so it's activated, and we already have secure tackler uh, activated. So, yeah, actually that would... That would make him a goal 99 on the other side also. But that's neither here nor there. The bottom line is we're starting to get our defense to the point where it's going to be really, really wild to play against. So now with everything that Night Train Lane has, let's take a look at some of his numbers. All right, let's see what's going on with him. Okay, so he's a 97 speed. Obviously, Rondé was a 99, but 97 speed's not bad. 99 zone coverage, 99 press. That is huge for how we're going to be using him because we're going to need to get bumps with him. So he's an upgrade from Rondé in that regard. Plus he's bigger. Plus he's going to give us a little bit more along the lines of um, impact block, which we'll see come up shortly. Spin move is an 87. Impact blocking is a 73 as opposed to like a 50, whatever it was before. So that really helps us out a lot. Juke move 91. Stiff arm we don't care about. You know what I'm saying? He's very elusive with a 93. So it works out for us. And I do believe that he will be a major upgrade to the squad, all right? So we'll wait for those other guys to sell. We're sitting on like another 400, um, you know what I'm saying, plus, and we'll see how that works out for us. But ultimately, we had to get that job done. Um, I do think they're going to be releasing a new Dion very soon, but Dion is my user anyway in nickel, so it doesn't really matter. Other than that, he won't be playing or doing anything else, um, and that's just pretty much it right there, all right? So that's what I chose to do with my Legends Chem. Let me know if you think it was a good idea, bad idea. Leave all the feedback for me. Leave it in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to G Miles World Gaming for full gameplays. Also, G Miles World Podcast for up-to-date information on the NFL and free agents. And I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.